is going on guys first day of school first day of school yeah i go yeah so i'm heading to the bus stop so uh anyway go out here and see what's cracking lane as y'all can see i had to get out i didn't have to but i got off an hour early man so i'm gonna get out here and make sure i uh, talk with the bus driver find out the time the original time they come in the morning and what time they get off so i can keep an eye on my baby girl meanwhile my daughter in high school she's getting picked up by her mom and then my son is in junior high but uh anyway guys i gotta spray some weeds out here yeah it don't look too bad but it's a drought and i gotta spray some weeds it's all good it's my corn plants Anyway, yeah, while I'm out here at the bus stop, man, I'm going to put y'all up on game, man. So, basically, uh, when I'm on YouTube, uh, I like to dig in the comments. So, uh, to a lot of those conscience uh, platforms like Dr. Moomby, uh, who else? Uh, Dalgon, uh, Willie D, uh, Roland Martin, Undisputed, Dr. Umar. Things like that. So I like to go in the comments. So normally when I uh, go in the comments, I notice, man, a lot of people, you know, they cry and they complain. And when I say cry and complain, meaning, oh, man, black people need to come together. Black people need to come together. Oh, we need to, because they've been crying about these characters lately. Oh, the characters, they don't want to do right, man. We need to get our own characters. We need to get our own characters. Oh, man, banking while black. Banking while black. Oh man, they don't they don't want our money. Uh this, that, and the third. And we constantly talking about how we need to get our own. And then you got a lot of people out there saying, you know what, man? A lot of celebrities and a lot of rich people need to put their money together and create some characters or do something like that or come up with a theme park. Uh, a lot of blacks should put their money together and start a bank. And this is the sad thing. And this is how you know we ignorant and we our own worst enemy. Because here's the thing. Why we keep on waiting and looking for this savior? I mean, that's what religion have taught us, to wait for somebody else to come do the work. Many of us, we don't want to walk. We'll talk the talk, but we don't want to walk the walk. And we're not being confronted. We're not being confronted and called out, man. Meaning we are our own worst enemy for that reason. Because a lot of times... When somebody offered a solution saying, hey, let's walk the walk, people run. Hey, I tell you what, let's tax ourselves and we all put our money in the pot so we can have a budget and have some capital to do the things we need to do in our communities. They run, they flee. They flee like a big dog. You know what I'm saying? So what that tells me, that tells me that a lot of us goofing off and it's still... Uh, it's every man for himself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what they say, uh, united we stand, divided we fall. You know what I mean? Divide and conquer. So a lot of times we sit back and I think my people just like the idea of crying and whining. We want somebody else to come fix our problems. When if we all pitch in up on the organization call the black achievement fund we can get some results but like i say uh, a lot of time people in the comment and it's easier said than done we need to do this we need to do that but then when it's time to put in that groundwork don't nobody want to do nothing and then another thing is we need our own uh characters man locally wherever you live why don't you google to see if there's any characters in your area and the reason i'm saying that because man my daughter just had a birthday party and that's exactly what i did this was before the sesame street character thing this was before the Chuck E. cheese character uh, situation we hired some black characters to come by and entertain Oh, uh, we need our own uh, 
What else they say? Man, we need our own black banks. Banking while black is crazy. And it's like, you got the internet. You spend all your time on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. We got First United. We got Citizen Trust. Like, how many people doing their homework on black banking? And then not just that. The same thing with social media. Oh, man, TikTok racist, man. They racist. They this and this. They that and that. And they bashing it. And then it's like, why don't you go and sign up for fan base? And then, I mean, I remember when JD had his platform. What was the name of uh, JD platform? And it was doing it was doing fairly well. But when we get some, we don't support it. All right? We want somebody else. We It's like seeking validation or something. Everybody looking for validation. You know what I mean? So, gotta be, gotta be watchful, man. I think a lot of time, man, our people just want to cry, man, and complain. And again, murmurers. Murmurers want to cry and complain. And then don't want to put the boots on the ground. That's messed up, man. Yeah, man. Bus running a little late, man. First day of school. But like I was saying, man, you know, when you do come up with a solution and say, hey, man, look, let's put the boots on the ground. How about you go and research uh, www.baf.solution? Go and research. Man, that's a scam. Like, nobody ain't never told me that. But, like I say, when you look at organizations such as Black Lives Matter, you know, somebody come in, infiltrate, taint the whole image of the organization or whatever took place with their organization. And then people, you know, find a reason to opt out. No, I don't want to. So you don't want to be a part of some positive and walk the walk. But you got time to complain and cry. I don't want to hear that, man. Black folk don't want to hear that. White folk don't want to hear it. Quit begging all the time. Like, shoot, man, we're in a position right now where we can put the work in. Quit waiting on white Jesus to come. Quit waiting on celebrities. You know what I mean? And do what we got to do and pull together. And like I say, it don't take nothing but, I mean, it ain't nothing to go and support one of these poisonous artists who, who tan down the community. I'm going by this rapper right here who's talking about slapping females and cheating and shooting up and sliding on people. I'm going to put some money in his pocket. See what I'm saying? Well, we wrong, but ain't nobody saying nothing. And ain't nobody doing nothing. You know what I mean? Sure, you can be the small man on the totem pole to be out here in your community making something happen. You know what I mean? Giving back. Having block parties. You ain't got to be rich. Hell, I do it. I do it every year. So I ain't rich. Pull together with my community. You know what I mean? That cul-de-sac you see right down there. Why they? See that big old cul-de-sac down there? Get it popping, you know what I mean? Bring it, let the children come out, give away pencils, book bags, school supplies, have snacks, a bouncy house, have the firefighters to come out. You know what I mean? Some other representative, you know what I mean? But like I say, everybody find a, everybody like to find excuses, and that ain't gonna get you nowhere. Excuses, 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 crying and murmuring. We need our own banks. We need our own characters. All of the people we help make rich by watching their movies like Tyler Perry and the, the Jay-Z's and the Michael Jordan's, all of them people we supported, we want them to come back and use their personal money to fix all of our problems. But we ain't, man, it's best stop. Join the movement, for real, for real. Boots on the ground. A big old coat of scent.